Hey guys, I've got my 1830 Napoleon Sabre here that I recently purchased and I want to briefly talk about this sword as it's hard to find any information out on it. Let me first get the specs out of the way. It weighs 37.7 ounces with a blade length of 33 and 3 quarters inches and overall length of 39 inches. This puts it at 5 ounces lighter than the 1860 Heavy Cavalry Sabre but 3.5 ounces heavier than the popular 1796 light cavalry saber. The blade length and overall length also falls in between these two swords. The blade is forged out of 1055 carbon steel and comes with a steel scabbard. The grip is leather with a brass 3 bar hilt. It also comes with a piece of paper saying that it passes the British proof test. Now we've all seen those cold steel videos where they whack and bend the sword, but where does this test actually come from? Well, I did some digging and found out that during the Crimean War in the 1850s, there was a lot of quality issues with swords coming out of the British Empire. Swords were breaking and bending in battle, so much so that it came to be known as the Crimean Sword Scandal. The government decided to step in and this particular test was devised. All the swords had to be tested by a special machine, which actually still exists in the Wilkinson Sword Factory in London. Once they passed the test, they were stamped and sent out on their way to hack and slash and war and all that good stuff. This is uh, explained in the book British Military Swords by John Wilkinson Latham and uh, I found this on bladeforums.com so thank you for posting that. Now that we're still on the uh, subject of history, let's talk about this particular cavalry sword's name. 1830 Napoleon Sabre. Now why did Cold Steel call it this when Napoleon died in 1821 and his career was over at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. There's no such thing as an 1830 model saber. There is an 1822 French Hussar saber, however, which the US 1840 cavalry saber is based upon. But Cold Steel calls that particular model the US 1860 heavy cavalry saber. But there's no such thing as an 1860 heavy cavalry saber. In fact, the 1860 Light Cavalry Saber replaced the 1840 Saber. Go figure. But back to this particular Saber. This Saber is actually what people call an ANIX slash XI Saber. In French, this means year 9 slash 11, referring to the French Revolution. They used a particular calendar starting from the uh, French Revolution in 1792. So what it means is that 9 or 11 years from when the war actually started. So that puts this model between 1800 and 1801 for the year 9 models and 1802 to 1803 for the year 11 models. There's only minor difference, differences between the two models. Maybe Cold Steel should have called this the 1803 model and not the 1830 model? At any rate, this model of Sabre was used extensively throughout the Napoleonic Wars and as one person put it, proved its valor on the battlefield. It's a great Sabre. It's great at chopping up melons or even zombies. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little history lesson and I hope to see you next time.